Denise and Reese, some of the first and fast tours. Amazing! Gracious! Another person's past for choice, Laurie. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Gracious! Another person's past for choice, Laurie. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. <laughs> you really did. But I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy story. <laughs> okay, I was uh, about to say Percy's fast food toy story because the story that we're going to do today is not actually a toy. So this is one of my favorite author, one of my favorite illustrator. It's none other than Kim Casali and his book Love Is. Okay, isn't this great? I just bought it from a book sale. It's an old book actually, but I was pleasantly surprised that they have this. So instead of losing it, I mean other people buying it, I immediately um, uh, bought it from my own money in my pocket. It's a good thing I have ample money to purchase this book. So here it is, Love Is. A Wild La Ride by Kim Kassan. <clears throat> okay, like I said, this is ha this is my favorite author and <laughs> favorite illustrator. He was, um, uh, she, she was actually, uh, was that Marilyn Judith Grove from Oakland, New Zealand. But when he moved to Los Angeles, he fell in love with um, Roberto Casali, an Italian uh, guy. And they really fell in love and more often than not being shy not very expressive uh, with, her, with her feelings he sort of made a lot of love notes for Robert Casali so he would draw uh, he would draw these pictures of her and him and then put some quotation or put some wordings there and uh, that was from 1960, so she drew these love notes so religiously. Um, it would, uh, she would put them in the pocket of Roberto, and then Roberto really appreciated all these love notes and, in fact, encouraged her to actually pursue cartooning. So, um, the love story was very supportive of this particular artwork and this particular uh, literature. <laughs> and true enough, uh, a lot of newspapers did take notice of the love notes created by, um, uh, yeah, what's her name? <laughs> Marilyn uh, Grove Casali. But eventually, she used the name Kim Casali as the pen name for this cartoon. Okay, and did you know that uh, when the cartoon was first released in January, uh, January of January 5 of 1970, it actually coincided with the release of the movie Love Story. It was based on the book by Eric Segal. I love that particular book. Uh, I think I have a couple of those books and I was able to watch uh, that uh, movie adaptation of um, Love Story. It starred Ali McGraw and Ryan O'Neill. Wonderful story. And then there's this uh, wonderful quotation of, um, of both of them and saying to each other that love is never having to say you're sorry. But Kim Casali in one of her cartoons did something of a twist uh, in that particular adage or that particular quote from the love story when she said that love is being able to say you're sorry. <laughs> okay, so this uh, created quite a stir and it made the cartoon so much more uh, popular from the reading public. And for those who has access to this uh, particular card in the newspaper. So this is a wonderful book and as you can see, there it is, wonderfully drawn. And the book contains uh, various drawings of Kim Casali and some of her uh, definitions of love. Um, ranging from the mundane, so prosaic and so trivial, but they uh, packs a lot of punch. I mean, um, they are filled with a lot of meaning and sincerity. So wonderful. I think you, you can read this in one sitting and be inspired immensely by some of these uh, different ways of looking at love from the point of view of Kim Casali. And I suppose 
this is just like um, giving a quiescence to what we already know about love. <laughs> okay, so this is a wonderful book, very thick, uh, I love it. Uh, um, being a second hand book, I got it for a very cheap price, so, so wonderful. <laughs> and I must say, this is just an amazing grace. So once again guys, let's try to be thankful for every amazing grace that comes to our lives. Be in the form of uh, Love is a Wild Ride by Kim Casali book. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is a wonderful book and I am so thankful to God for this. Or also be thankful for um, for uh, yeah, for Kim Casali for coming up or creating this wonderful vignettes, a wonderful definition of love uh, that uh, wouldn't require rocket science. I mean, they're so simple very experiential and a lot of us um, can be able will be able to relate to all of these different ways of looking at love okay it just takes uh, you you know paying attention never taking advantage to all these wonderful uh, experiences that uh, come into our lives so uh, that is why I encourage you to always be thankful because uh, being thankful is actually being able to see what we might uh, often overlook we might uh, often see as trivial or uh, nothing <laughs> but when we are very thankful we will be able to see uh, various definitions of love that yeah, all of these even the most uh, small things even the most mundane stuff can actually be an expression of love by God to all of us <laughs> or basically guys let's be thankful for every amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toy Story and I hope to see you again with our next one so until then bye and see you around bye